Hi y'all, Cynthia, I'm out here and what I'm doing now is uh, we got a little mild weather. Uh, we've been in, like in a deep freeze. So um, I'm going to, we're gonna probably go back to that again tomorrow. It's gonna start getting colder, but today it's not bad. It's like upper 30s. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be moving these um, fruit trees closer to the house so that they can have some um, little shelter and not be out in the wind so um you know have a little protection and i'm then i'm going to cover them so i'm going to show you um what i'm going to be doing and what i what my end result is and if you like the video go ahead and give me the thumbs up and hey check out my channel if you like it go ahead and subscribe okay um so let me get going okay Here's what I did with the Alberta peach. Um, I covered it over in that fabric and as you can see, I put down here some bricks. Up here, I used some clothes pins to kind of secure where I wrapped it around. I used clothes pins on it. And uh, this is what it looks like. And this is the one I told you I could not move because it then went and rooted in the ground. Okay, all right, so I just want you to see this. This is some fabric I had I used last year. That's why it's kind of dirty looking. And so hopefully that's gonna give this enough protection out here in the open. Okay, now let's walk over here and see what I did with the other, um, the other ones, okay? Okay, I'm walking up on the other one that I did. And this is where I put the, uh, was three, I got three, six. Six out here. And this one on the end is a hazelnut and the rest of them are fruit trees. So as you can see, I wrapped it around that fabric and uh, I used clothespins again. Down here, these are stalks from my uh, corn, uh, sunflowers, so I kept those, and I'm gonna I put them down there like that, and then I it put some little stones like here, uh, and I put one over there and one over there, and then I put some in the back, and I also tied these up a little bit better than they was at first, so if we get some vicious winds, hopefully. You know they'll have some kind of support with that and I'll be checking on them because if we don't get any you know rain or snow or anything and it gets real dry I will come out here that's why I want them close they want them to have protection I also want them to be where I can bring out some water and put on them then I took these buckets and put on the end just for protection when the wind go to whipping that there's some protection over there okay they can get water and light through this fabric that I got from Gardner's supply okay then over here on my potting bench I, I covered these up these are some perennials that I left out here that I'm going to plant in the spring so they can get water down in here they can also get sunlight and then I protected the root ball, the root base of them here uh, with the fabric, okay? And so I just wanted you to see those and to see what I did out here. All right, so if you're someone that lives in a cold climate and you wanna have fruit trees and start them out in the pot, this is my first time doing it. This is what I'm doing and you can follow me along on my videos and see what happens. Okay, and also if you're somebody and you don't live in a cold place, but it's starting to get cold and you need to know what to do, follow along with me and see what I'm doing. Okay, so I thank you so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate your time. And I would say, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, check out my channel, subscribe. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.